We all grow lots of plants, and of course that means that a lot of us use lots of pots, often plastic, but making your own pots out of paper is a really simple thing to do, and it's fantastic. They're totally biodegradable, and in fact, you can plant them straight into the ground, which means the roots of your plant don't get disturbed, they just rock it straight away into the surrounding soil. And you can buy little timber paper pot makers, but the thing that I found most effective is a long, tall glass, and if it's got a bit of a taper on it, well, that's actually a benefit, and I'll show you why later. So all you need is some newspaper. I quite like the broadsheets. They're a bit harder to get a hold of nowadays. So I'm gonna go with an open piece of a narrow paper. So I'm folding that over lengthways twice. So I've got a nice strip of folded newspaper. And I'm gonna take my cup and actually lay it down on the newspaper about two thirds of the way in and using this open part, I want that to be in the cavity of the glass. So the overlapping pieces are down on the cavity. And then all you need to do is just loosely roll it. Don't do it too tight because you'll find it quite hard to pull apart. And try and keep the top line in a relatively straight line. So now I've got my paper wrapped around my glass and these folded parts, I'm actually just gonna push them down into there. And this is why you don't do it too tight, because you need to pull it off. And if you've wrapped it too tight, it's hard to do. And then I'm gonna use the base of the glass. I'm just gonna push the base of the pot in. Usually there's a little hole there, but that's fine. That's gonna work as drainage. And then you could use a paper clip. I've done that in the past. You could wrap some string around it, but what I find totally biodegradable as well is a single staple. And I've got a perfectly useful pot. Really, you can plant almost anything into these, but remembering that the pot will only last, you know, four or six weeks. So you just fill them full of a mix. And then using two seeds per pot is a good idea. And then you know that you can thin to the strongest one as it goes. And then they're really easy to label. These pots are really easy to make. And the other thing about them is they're very effective. They make for easy transplanting of all of your crops straight into the garden. Easy enough to make this weekend, in fact. Give them a go.